Good day to you and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia Campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here, and I've just had a horrible thought. What if somebody invades while we're off slaughtering? Won't be done, won't do. So we'll just get a couple of... We'll get a small army together in Trim, maybe, just to... Just to bolster our self-confidence. You'll do. You're loyal, aren't you? I think we could be the... Yep, we're the strongest faction again. Excellent! Uh, Niall O'Neill feels appreciated, making him less likely to desert. An abbey has been built in Cork. Excellent. Ulster Swordsman in... Scotland and Norway have stopped fighting. I pick my bloody times, don't I? Going to war when everyone else is at peace. Where's the fight? Well, as the Irish National Anthem itself states, We're the children of a fighting race that has never yet has known disgrace. That never yet have known disgrace. And as we march the foe to face, we'll chant a soldier song. I better not do that, because people might take offense if I start quoting the Irish anthem, uh, the Irish national anthem in English. I find people don't tend to like that. Yes, it is a part of my great plan. I didn't want to commit murder. What do I look like? Macbeth, King of Scotland? Now my relationship with Scotland is poor. I'll be fighting off half the bloody world before long. Right! We'll be begging for Whoa. Soon. March. You're kidding me. They actually stood on... Jesus, Huskarls. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Because it's not as if these lads are pushovers. Ransom. No, well that wasn't my problem. Right, attack Mul. Next turn. Of course, if this goes wrong, and if I bungle this attack, the Norwegians are probably going to totally destroy my uh, fleet. Because I'll be honest, we have a rubbish fleet. Ireland is not known for its naval prowess. Alliance announced. Thank God, it's between the Barons Alliance and Scotland. I was thinking if it were between Norway and Scotland, that'd be quite inconvenient. For their lives soon. Attack Mo- March. Fuck, I forgot the cannon! Those walls won't protect them for long. Herp de derp. Is it time to take the walls? Alright, alright. Well, we can remedy that problem. Bring up the guns. I king. I son. March. I actually probably should have sent March guns from the Isle of Islay, come to think of it. Oh, hindsight, you military chestnut. And down Patrick. Why are you so sad? Come on. Alchemist lab. Capable of upgrading firearms. Well, I guess I should be grateful. City watch. Well, I guess that takes priority, doesn't it? That takes precedence. Okay, let's see what let's see what the term Oh god, Down Patrick is actually in full fledged revolution. Block a Kirkwall. Alright, alright, calm down, calm down. Surprised, Arthur Rook is a fairly good manager. All right, get some Katherna in there and gunhawks. Heavy cannon, 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 cannon. Ships with guns. This will give us a marked advantage over any opposing soldiers. Well, opposing, you know, enemy ships. That'll give us an edge. Fleet ready. All right, take some men to the Isle of Islay. And put our guns there on it. Give our guns to Admiral Owen. And then bring Admiral Owen to the coast and move up those men to support Arthur Neil. Now we attack. What they got anyway? Huskarls and more Huskarls. We won. Surprise we actually have any public order there. What's the uh, what's the readout actually? Between not Irish at all, it's Norwegian and Scottish, but they're still fairly happy. Okay. Rebuild the castle. To the town repair. Children cry, hurrah boys, here comes a grenadier. Alright, just move these men then up to, um, up to the coast. We're just going to island hop. Pretty much. That's our plan. Island hop. I'll get some of the men from the Isle of Islay to board the ships. We'll land them here. I wonder. We'll take the islands, and we'll attack the mainland. 
Maybe it'd be better to go for the mainland than the islands. We'll see. I don't foresee this as being a particularly tough war. It shouldn't be. Chances are it probably will, but it shouldn't be. Okay, I'm sensing a bit of dissent amongst our um, general population. That might explain it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, I think, we will get these lads here, put these lads on board. Okay, Dan Patrick seems to be placated anyway, which is something. Last thing we want is a rebellion on our hands, especially in our own back doors. What about Cork? Good, Cork is in the process of being upgraded. We're being we're taxing it through the mouth, but you know, such is the necessity of a prosperous reign. And we left a spy behind. Lovely. Okay. All right, we'll see if we can see if he can see anything. Nothing really. I didn't think he would, but, you know. There is no harm. And did he get some sort of a trait? A pickpocket. He's a talent for spying. That's good. Once again, Scotland is the strongest. We will... Tipperary is ready to upgrade, so we shall. The Bowyer is ready in... Mool. And Scotland and Norway have stopped fighting. Brilliant. But, on the bright side... We've got two gun hulks. And we're almost broke. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I really actually better watch our spending. I'm spending well beyond our means. My spending has been exorbitant. Alright, uh, you move to support Admiral Owen. A couple of guns might swing the thing in our favor. Maybe I should start laying waste to the Norwegian cities. Oh no, we're profiting again. Our heads are above water, thanks be to Christ. Tresak McNally in Tipperary is dead. But we have somebody to replace him. For how long, I don't know. I'm slightly afraid though, we're not really having enough children. We should be having more children. I mean, we, don't the, we don't want the dynasty to die out. Alright, load up. Except we can't land them anywhere. Well, we're not likely to get attacked or anything. Now watch. I say that. I say that. Can we disembark them here? Yeah, we'll disembark them here. Then we'll have full-fledged slaughter. As the Lord dictated, Finn and McCarthy is dead. This is what I'm afraid of. We're going to lose people sooner than we can replace them. Machiavellian as that might sound, it is sort of the truth. We're not getting people quick enough to replace them. Uh, okay. We'll land these men here then. Ah! I've just come down from the Isle of Skye. I'm no very big gun. I'm a full shy. The lassies shoot as I go by. Donald, where's your trousers? Okay, so Skye will be ours. And then we'll take whatever... The Scots are at war with us. Brilliant! Fucking perfect! Now the Isle of Islay is about to... See, this is why... This is why I do not like auto-managing. Because I can't even adjust the tax rate. So we'll put it to growth build. Which minimizes profit. Scotland's richest. But we're the strongest. I don't want to be at war with Scotland, frankly. And now we've broken our alliance. Oh, God. No ways at war with Scotland. So, how the hell does that work? Command me. Uh, well, just take Sky off them. The Can't be that we tricky. No yep, we win. Sack us. Oh, I'm sorry. But the cannon are taking heavy casualties. I don't want to go to war with Scotland. I mean, we can island hop against the Norwegians, but we can't fight a full-fledged war against the bloody Scots as well. Ugh, oh, jeez. Right, we'll get the men from Mull. 
I sir. Now, where did I? From where did I move those men? I can't. Okay, except I for. Except for you lads. We'll take this city off them anyway. And that'll be the end of us. Agreed. Right, well, we might as well just see, teach these Scots a thing or two. No, because they're not around. They didn't... Jesus, fuck. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. Oh. Scotland's strongest again. And the Norwegians and the Scots have stopped fighting again. The forest has conquered. Great minds have found new ways to make light of some of the heaviest work. Sawing wood has always been a slow and arduous work, even for the strongest of laborers. But cunning engineers have found a way to drive a great saw capable of planning of planning an entire log by using water. God bless them. And England and Scotland have stopped fighting. Good God. Where's the fight? Blow it open. They'll be begging for their lives Ooh, soon. Family member. March. Why is the why are these battles always so heavily in our favor, even when there's only a general's bodyguard unit? Victory! Right. We have broken them. Okay, so that wasn't we bad. We've taken victorious. quite a bit, actually, in our time. But the trouble is now, the Norwegians have an army the size of... Our problem now is if they ever happen to build up that something called a fleet. We are only safe as long as they don't have a fucking fleet. So I think it's time we built up our third full-stack army. I sh Shell, I think, I think, we should be able to afford us. We should. If not, we are in very real shit. We are in deep shit. But if not, if we can afford us, we'll wait for them to invade, because we can't defeat two full-stack armies on Norwegian soil. That's just improbable, unless we have an uncommonly good general, because they're all captains. But I think if we can break these armies here, we could probably break the back of the Norwegian war machine. The Larsa. I think I'm going to sign off. This might have been a very tedious session. I give you. But, it's been profitable. We've taken Mull, Sky, and Stornoway. But, on the bad side, we're at war with Scotland, Norway, and now the Welsh and the English on the Brownlands Alliance hate us. Ugh, no rest for the wicked. Anyway, this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I'm signing off.